Welcome to our Duncan Music Lounge. I'm Crystal. What's good? It's Maxwell. And we've known Khalid for a few years now. We're so excited that he's here. Multi-platinum selling artists, Grammy nominations, iHeartRadio Music Awards. He's the guy. And our friend. I mean, we've even hung out with him in his oh, trailer. Yeah, a we few were times. kicking it uh, at Universal. I think it was like the last time that we had the chance to actually hang out with this guy. Uh, do we just say like nothing feels better than this, is, or is that too cheesy to? A little cheesy, oh. but you 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 pull it off, Max. You pull it <laughs> off. <laughs> Let's welcome into our Duncan Music Lounge our buddy Khalid. Where you at, fam? Come on through. Hey. <laughs> Have a seat, man. Welcome back to Hi. New York City. Hello, thank you. <laughs> Look at this glistening smile. Every time I think of Khalid, I think of this. Oh, thank you. How are you feeling? You. Where's your heart at? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great, actually. Yeah. I'm happy to be here. You know, I love hanging out with y'all always. You oh, guys really? Are, are, you, are you just saying yeah. that? No, I'm not. You guys <laughs> yeah, are, are. We paid him in donuts to say <laughs> that a little bit ago. Oh, well, no. they really did. <laughs> it was, really, it was a, a very great treat. So thank you guys so much for just all the hospitality. Of course. Your family, like Crystal said, your your family. You've been um, a member of our squad for a while, and to know that you're on this journey now, and you've created some music uh, for what feels like Khalid at this point in time, man. Let's go ahead and talk about Sincere a little bit and what this means to you, dude. Oh, it's such a special album to me because it, it's taken so long and really taught me a huge lesson, and that was patience. And, yeah. Um, really uh, living in the moment of, of creation uh, for that process was... Uh, it was amazing in many aspects because I, I was able to explore a new side of myself and then I was able to also hone in on a side of myself that I love and I feel like that's the vulnerability of my songwriting. And so, yeah, it was awesome. Well, with Sincere, you've said that you used life experiences with your friends, with your family, through your fans to curate everything that this album is and you just said it, vulnerable. Yeah. Why is this third album different from where you were for your first my first one um, was fresh and, and new, and I hadn't experienced life or yeah. adulthood at all at that point. And by the second album, um, Free Spirit, it went hard. It did, and for I, sure. And I love Free Spirit, but uh, it, it was a busy, busy, busy time period for me yeah. in my life where I really didn't feel like I had a lot of life experience. I didn't, I still wasn't in my own adulthood. I didn't go to school. I went straight from school to a career. So uh, through the past five years, it really allowed me to venture out and find new hobbies and find things that I like to do. I'm like, wait, I- What I, are some I, of those things, dude? Because like, we know one of those hobbies is not putting petrol or, or gas in your car. <laughs> we know it's not getting it serviced too frequently. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> um, I didn't know that I, um, would enjoy long walks. Okay, bet. You know, it's one of those <laughs> things where like- Long walks on the beach, <laughs> Khalid, are you gay? And you're like, okay, everybody says they like long walks. But then you're actually taking one, you're like, wait, this is actually pretty- This rough. hits, yeah, this I hits. Like this actually, this is hitting. <laughs> so I, I did a lot of walking and a lot of walking and a lot of dreaming and a lot of reflecting on the moment that I'm living right now about this album being out. I, I can remember just listening to songs like It's All Good or even uh, a song, Heat Stroke, you know, yeah. and thinking and just thinking about the song and thinking about uh, my fans and my listeners. And I'm like, oh, they're going to love this one. <laughs> <laughs> when you see that reaction, when you see the fans actually tap in and be there on that same, wa that same wavelength as you are, I you know, right at this moment, how fulfilling is that, dude? I mean, I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> as you right? should be. I'm biased, right? So when I listen to the music, I'm like, oh, my God, this is great. Oh my God, this is great. <laughs> oh, I love this song. <laughs> and then they're like, yo, Khalid, you can't put 30 songs on this album. <laughs> Slow it down a bit. And bro. I'm like, all right, okay, let's bring it back to earth. Uh, but, you know, listening to the music, especially with my friends and enjoying the music, like I said, we get biased because we build connections with these songs. We build our own personal memories yeah. with these songs. Uh, so when you release those songs into the world, uh, you never know what people are going to say. You never know what to expect. But to see that my fans and my listeners were saying the same exact thing that my friends and I were saying about the music. That validation must yeah, go right. Yeah, the, 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 the reassurance. It's like, okay, I'm on the right path. Like, it's, it's, it's okay. Sure. Well, you're on the right path because you're being you. So as long as you stay true to who you are, you will forever be on that right I path. I appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. We see with Sincere, you were really intentional with your feature. Okay, we have... Arlo Parks on Breathe, and how did that conversation happen? Why were you so deliberate with making sure at least that song had somebody on it? 
It was it was funny. I mean, I've known Arlo for for years, but I went to go eat at an Italian restaurant, and um, she just so happened to be sitting next to me on this like wow. random occasion, and we reconnected and we talked afterwards. And it's one of those like it's one of those things where you tell somebody, "Hey, look, let's hang out," and you actually do. I mean, it's kind of rare, right? Like, Follow up happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. Like, hey, 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 just hit me up. Well, you know, we actually hit each other up because it was something that we were really, really, extremely interested in doing. But you never know what it's gonna be when you get into the studio. You never know. Mm -hmm. But when we got into the studio, it was incredible. It was just a extremely visceral connection. It's like she she was the voice of everything I felt like I wanted to say. So. Yeah. Well, that happened at that time because, again, it, it wasn't forced. It was just natural how it all came together. Think of the fact that you could have easily gone to, like, Jack in a Box. You know what I mean? Or you could have went down right. the street to, you know, eat at Dunkin'. somebody else's. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. could have grabbed some <laughs> Dunkin'. Yeah, like, dead ass. Like, for real, you yeah. really could have had so many other decisions. But that happened for you two to be in the space exactly. at that point in time exactly. to create this so I'm energy. Like, if we're in front of each other right now at this restaurant, like, we got to see each other later. And, yeah. and we made it happen. And, um, yeah, it was awesome working with Arlo. I also want to see how it happened with Kane Brown on stage in LA. Time that to was like that. <laughs> that was a situation we didn't know we needed. Yeah. I mean, we it was so cool seeing you guys. We didn't even know you had the connection like that. No, it's it's a nice like reunion. Uh -huh. um, I love Kane Brown and everything he does, and I really just respect his voice. And I feel like we have a lot of similarities uh, within our demeanors and our and our voices. And so, anytime Kane Brown hits me and is like, "Yo, come through," I'm like. I'm already on the way. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Like straight up. <laughs> to have those friendships, to, to build those bonds with, like you said, with Arlo, with, with Kane, with, I mean, just so many other folks who you've been able to share the same space with, whether it be in the studio, on the stage. What does that mean to you to know that you have built those types of relationships and you have helped to elevate their energy, their, their game, the same way that they've helped you? I mean, I love being the collaborator in mind. Yeah. Like I love it. Yeah. I love when people are like, I want Khalid on this song. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try. Uh, <laughs> if I have anything to add and I have anything to, to bring, obviously, I'll, I'll hop on. But just the fact that people think of me when they think of like something so personal like a song. you know, And they think of me and they're like, Khalid will be perfect on this. I love that. I think that's incredible. Um, I love collaborating. It's one of my favorite things to do is just to work with other creatives to, you know, gain their insight, to learn more. So I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm happy that they choose me as the, you know, one of the few collaborating kings in this. Hey. Come on, look at that smile. <laughs> How yeah. not? Facts. Sure. <laughs> now bringing it to the music, <laughs> Heat Stroke. Congratulations. Oh, you. Well, why did you decide to lead your album with that single? Because heat stroke is, uh, to me, is all about uh, trusting your impulse. Actually, heat stroke wasn't even gonna be on this album. Word. Until okay. it's one of those thirty-six songs, <laughs> they were like, no. Until <laughs> four weeks before, where I was listening to the album from beginning to end, and there were two songs that weren't on the album, and something called me, and I'm like, ah, these two have to go, and these two have to come in. Wow. Last swap. minute swap. Last minute swap. I'm like telling everybody. I'm like telling my team. I'm like, trust me. Like, yeah, trust me. <laughs> I'm like, just trust me. I'm like, something in my heart. And I'm the type of person, like, if I really feel it, I'm like, I can't. I can't. But that's the growth that you found in yourself. Yeah. That's maybe trusting the, myself. yeah, trusting yourself. Yeah, and, and that's exactly. maybe a decision that you weren't able to make that very first time around. Right. That now you know who you are much more than before. And, and it's crazy because when I chose Heat Stroke and I started playing it in these rooms and people are listening to it for the first time and I'm seeing their reaction, I'm thinking to myself, there was a world where this was a possibility that just would have never It would have been on a whole different, if we were in the MCU, bro, that this is the moment where I mean? we would have never it's seen that timeline. It's honestly crazy. It's <laughs> honestly crazy just seeing what the song's doing and thinking to myself that I've always loved the song and, and it, because it was one of those ones where I was like, let me go back into my Rolodex of songs. Like there was one year in particular, 2022, where I was writing so many songs like Heat Stroke, so many. So there's other songs that sound similar to Heat Stroke. Um, but Heat Stroke was the one that brought me back where I was like, this has 
been the soundtrack of my memories. This has been, I can remember going to Mexico, listening to this song with my head out the window. I'm like, I'll throw it on. Do y'all realize the way that he closed his eyes and relived that moment right there as you were yeah, just yeah. explaining that? Yeah, it meant something to you. It does. It does. That song means a lot to me. So for people to receive it and to love my music in the way that I do, I just and it's the music video, you're just vibing, the visuals, that, that house at the end, the explode. I can't listen to my music with my eyes open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for I sure. Every yeah, that's, that's what you've done. Everybody in here says that it feels the same. <laughs> I gotta just float away. That, yeah, bringing that visual to life, because no spoilers, if you haven't already seen the video for each stroke, do what you gotta do, find it, watch it. But the end through me at least, and I'm sure Crystal <laughs> yeah. as well, for a loop, I'm like, yo, wow. <laughs> yeah. Creatively, to watch that visual come to life, yeah. that must have been pretty dope to have your hands in it. It was awesome because it was like, okay, you know, what's done in the past has been done in the past, and this is a rebirth for myself. And yeah. I'm coming into the future, and I have way more clarity and so much more knowledge, and I'm just here to have a good time. So. With all that knowledge yeah. and clarity, we have to ask, because we're in our Duncan Music Lounge, we love to ask this question because yeah. we want to see where you are now. Yeah. If you can walk into a Duncan and invite one person, dead or alive, to share a nice latte with. Ooh. Who, yeah, who you, who you sipping? Who you sipping with? Who you sitting and sipping with, Cleve? Who am I sitting in, in Whitney Houston? Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, and, and, uh, and the room said it. Woo! <laughs> Did you see that new Vegas slot machine? She has a, she has a <laughs> slot machine now. I know oh, well. you're, are you a gambler? Because no. you're going to start. <laughs> I, know, I need to <laughs> check it out. <laughs> so tell us about your love for Whitney Houston. When did that start? I just, I mean, I love Whitney and, and her voice and her clarity. And um, she just gifted us with songs that will stand the testament of time. And will uh, they'll write about Whitney in history books from time to time. She's just one of the greats. So I feel like it would really be nice to, um, cause she, you know, she had a very happy-go-lucky attitude, and I feel like she was extremely friendly and uh, yeah, collaborative. Things she was going through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would just, you know, ask her questions of how how she persevered, and you know, just yeah. Just you about did her, did about you her watch talent, her movie? About her, talent. her movie came out a yeah. few years ago. You yeah, saw it too. Yeah, what do you I think guess, about so it? I, incredible. Like, I mean, I just, I love Whitney Houston. Do you think that there's so, at some point in time that you, there may be an opportunity to interpolate one of her records or put something almost the same way you worked with uh, Alicia Keys? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I would do it. it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those untouchable yeah, type exactly. of uh, scenarios. That's how I feel about her. Yeah. It's one of those ones where it's just like, I just respect everything she's done. I just wouldn't even touch it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, and, and I, I want to circle back a little bit, too. I mean, I put an, an asterisk next to this, man, because please don't fall in love with me. Yeah. It, it does take this Alicia, and, and it makes it, I mean, it, it gives it some rebirth. Mm -hmm. You know, w when you get into that creative sp space and that process, and you're thinking about challenge yourself, right. and, and you think about who you are intentional, like Crystal said a little bit ago, going to go in and try to, you know, enhance. What was it about that song, and, and, and why did that, little snippet of hers speak to you um i mean when i wrote this when i wrote this song it was crazy i i knew in my mind i, ha I have a beautiful friendship with alicia um we've done a numerous amount of things together and from the first moment that i met alicia key she's always just been my type of my type of woman I'm like, hey. you guys have that yeah, chill yeah, yeah, vibe right? that poise. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. Sure. yeah yeah super chill like, yeah. You know. <laughs> Um, and I love her a lot. I love her energy. I love her demeanor and um, I love her confidence and uh, I've learned a lot from her. And so for me, I feel like it's one of those full circle moments where you just give an ode to like the fact that I'm like friends with someone who inspires me. Yeah. It's just I'm like, I have to put them on a project that, that to me is just yeah. super vulnerable because it's, it's honest. And so uh, I told her about it. I sent it to her and it was that easy. It was which is great. There's n there was no ego involved, and she genuinely loved the song. And that's that's something that you know it, it's not often that I I sample artists myself. So for m for me to sample her and for her to like it, I'm it's like, a compliment. Oh, it's Shall Alicia Keys approve huge, something you yeah. made? Huge, <laughs> compliment. <laughs> huge compliment. Huge compliment. You're so doing that thing, man, and it's thing. and it's again, it's because of the heart that you lead with, and you have done that since day dot, Thank and you. and that's why at the beginning of this conversation, as Crystal said, you've been a you've been a part of, of our family for a while. We're talking like you know, uh, platinum spins and, and diamond plaques and just all the things that come your way are because hey, you're and they're sitting in my house. I know exactly where they are. And they're Let's like go. Lined up, and I still 
look at that better plaque that you guys gave me. It was like a titanium. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I still look at it, and it's just like you deserve that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ask you one more though, because a while back, I don't think that you had. To, we had a conversation about when you were prom king. Do you still have the prom king crown under the bed? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I, it's probably somewhere in a storage. <laughs> Honestly, it's just you didn't bring there. that out. You didn't bring <laughs> that back out. Get out. more inspiration I, I, from and the past. And they were probably so mad at me because I was supposed to give it back, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> No, I keep it. You deserve it. Like, I can't let this go. <laughs> <laughs> I lived for this moment. Max, it's where, mine. You I'm too? taking it. Max, where's you? Uh, you Max know, is also prom king. We're with know, royals. Was, you know, we're with I'm royals. Sorry, I still have mine too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm not letting go of that either. <laughs> Circling back one more time to sincere. Obviously, we're still obsessed. We're at playing it on repeat. But the fans. They're always gonna want more. Sorry, they're asking about maybe a deluxe version, or, or do we plan on touring it? Just do those know. other two songs that you got rid of somehow yeah, make their hey, way back on the other hey, fifteen tracks? <laughs> just no. I mean, when I'm taking this time to carve down the deluxe, I know that they'll be pleasantly amused, yeah. Yeah. and they'll love it, and they'll love it <laughs> because when I tell you, like truthfully, yeah, I've written like hundreds of songs and wow. ideas. So I have this Rolodex where I'm just like, hmm, maybe I'll put that on there. Hmm, maybe okay. I'll put that on there. So uh, what's your writing? Do you have a notes app? Do you have a journal? Do you have a tablet? Uh, I mean, me and my engineer, you know. Okay, all right. <laughs> we keep it very safe. <laughs> Good, okay, cool. That's no Kalisa's way of saying that you ain't finna very crack that code. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nope, it's not on a cloud nowhere, baby. But uh -uh. yeah, so I'm, I'm, ec I'm excited about it all. I'm excited about it all, and I'm excited to do more shows. I'm so happy to finally be back and finally be yeah. working and finally be doing it. It's, listen, open door policy here with Z100 and iHeartRadio. You know, man, if it's a jingle ball, if it's a festival, if it's a, you Sign know. Yeah, man. The Dunkin' Lounge. The Dunkin' hey. Lounge, you're a Part of I it. love Jingle Ball. I always have such a fun time. It's a blast. It's a blast, bro. You've been, always you've so hit the garden fun. stage before. You've yeah. done it. So uh, it's it really from the bottom of our hearts, man. You are very much a part of our family, oh, and we're here guys. for you, thank whatever you, you need. Thank you, thank you. Like for yes, real. And thank you for entering for our contest. Some of the biggest Khalid fans <laughs> in New York City here hanging out with you. One more time for our Dunkin' Music Lounge. Thank you so much, and Khalid in the building. Oh, thank you.